Recently, I attended a local chamber of commerce breakfast in my district. I asked this question to all my business owners during my remarks. How many of you pay your employees minimum wage? I've asked, I've asked it during budget hearings. I've asked DCD, LNI secretaries. Who is making minimum wage in the Commonwealth? What is that job today? The answer was astonishing. One business, one single business out of the dozens of employers said they pay minimum wage. The business is a miniature golf course. And those minimum wage workers, Madam Speaker, they were high schoolers. So my colleague's amendment, renaming this the Youth Unemployment Act, would be the actually net result of this bill. Would raising the minimum wage affect this business? Absolutely, the business owner told me. This is a seasonal job. Requiring her to pay $15 an hour would mean raising the cost of admission. Prices are already high. Families are struggling. This bill is only going to result in the cost of playing miniature golf to rise. When prices go up, less families will play. When less families play, the business will fail.